Hey everybody, it's I, the Amazing Gamer DJMC here. Uh, sorry I haven't been making videos a while lately. It's been a busy weekend, especially that yesterday it was my birthday, so I'm now 22 years old. Yeah. But it was nice seeing my girlfriend again, because it's been a long time since I saw her. Uh, okay. This video is me talking about Mr. Parts video that he posted last Friday Marvel Zombie Revenge which you all saw my, you all heard my reaction when I watched the video after I made a reaction video of it so like the first time I watched it anyway I love every minute of the video it was one of the greatest projects that Mr. Park or as I call him Max because that's his real name and I'm friends with him in real life he did spectacular work, and the guy who voices both Spider-Man in there did fantastic job as well. So, kudos to the guy who voiced Zombie, Spider-Man, and the Spider-Man from the Earth that technically did not get infected in Mr. Part's universe of what is, because... Okay, so Marvel Zombie Revenge is an anime film based around... A what if that Max made, I would like to say maybe two years ago or maybe a year ago. I could be wrong. And what expired this what if was based around a the first issue of Marvel Zombies Return. Where zombie Spider-Man gets transported to a different Earth. And on that Earth, things did not go as planned. Like, Peter tried to collect the tablet to maybe see if they could cure him from the zombie virus. And hopefully to use its power to also cure the uh, other zombie heels of his, from his world. And I'm just going to throw this as a little quick uh, comic book fact of the day. Uh... Turns out, and I even researched this, turns out Spider-Man from Earth 2149 had the ability to shoot organic webbing. So in other words, like he was Tobey Maguire organic web shooters, in a way. Which actually kind of made me wonder, like, what point in that Spider-Man's history did he get organic webbing? I thought he had mechanical web shooters because in the first issue of Marvel Zombies... When he's trying, when he and the Avengers are trying to track down Magneto, he went out of web. He said, "Crap, out of webbing." So if a thought occurred to me, wait, why you use, why don't you shoot webs anymore, Spider-Man? Where's your uh, web shooters? So I did not realize that his organic webbing was. I didn't realize that version of Spider-Man had organic webbing because. We don't know how many Spider-Man in the multiverse have organic web shooters compared to those that we do know that have mechanical versions. So, but I might as well throw that in there. Uh, what did I like about the Marvel Zombie Revenge film? Uh, well, besides it's based around the Elseworlds story comic book, which is technically a what if. I love every minute of that. Because, um, Zombie Spider-Man... Technically kills the Sinister Six of that other Spider-Man's Earth by just devouring them and they get turned to zombies. But all except for Sandman, because while he's in a sand form, he's kind of immune to be affected. So, yeah. And when he saw the non-dead Spider-Man, the Spider-Man in his Earth, he decides to go all crazy. Like, beat the living shit out of him and then stuffing himself down his intense to his stomach until he explodes so yeah so you could say Sandman did kill Spider-Man on one earth but the uh, but because of Mr. Park wanted to make a somewhat redemption story to Spider-Man 12149 in a different way than he did in the comics I think that was really nice so that way 2149 Peter got to got to redeem himself and to be a hero again. Of course, at the end, I guess he still technically died because he's been technically dead in his universe for four years after being infected with the zombie virus. Uh, 
but yeah, I, I would recommend you check out the film. Like, type in Miss the Part, and you'll see the video. It is a thing you should definitely check out. Plus, for all of those who are Marvel Zombie fans, you can watch this film for like a Halloween movie if you want. I would recommend it. And I mean, hell, I'm probably going to check it out again on Halloween. Because that's next month. Why the hell not? Right? Uh, Max, if you're watching this, dude. Still, thank you for wishing me a happy birthday yesterday. But I was still kind of hoping maybe we can, like, have a chat. Like, have, like, a video chat on Instagram. But I guess you must have been busy. If not, I... Would like to maybe try to talk to you on Discord if you're not busy there. Uh, but you will have to send me your Discord username because I think you told me you got a new one after your old one kind of been acting a bit buggy from, I think, last year. So, uh, after I upload this video, I'll send it to you. And hopefully we will chat real soon here on Instagram or Discord. Let me know and hopefully you write back soon. Again, sorry to bug you about this, but I really hope we talk real soon. Because I would like to talk about the whole Marvel Spider-Man 2 stuff with you. And your Marvel Zombie Revenge film. Because I want to give you my thoughts on it completely. But I figure I at least make a video on what I think about it. So, Mr. Parts fan, fan, fan made film, Marvel Zombie Revenge. I give it. 10 out of 10 because it was fucking spectacular. So, hope you guys like this video. And if you want to know what the name of the video is, just type in Marvel Zombie Revenge and you will see it. I recommend you all watch it. And also, please subscribe to Mr. Bart. He will really appreciate that. And also, subscribe to my channel when you guys get the chance to. Anyway, that's all I got to say. Just catch you all on the flip side. Later.